Every two weeks on The Beat Goes On, we bring two great wines to the table for tasting. Conducting the tasting this week is Master Chef Tony Astle from one of New Zealand's finest restaurants, Antoine's in Parnell. Tony Astle. Right, it's good to be here. Yeah. It is good to be here. Always good to be here. Always good to be here because we have two fabulous wines on the table. Where do you find these wines, Tony, for your wine out. list? <laughs> sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. I tell you, these are very good ones too. We're actually oh. very, very blessed with the wines that we get, aren't we? All mainland stuff today. Yeah, apparently. You know, we've got to sort of push the boat out to the mainland, but yeah. they actually do a very good job. They're there. a great job. So yeah. how's, how's Antoine's, Tony? Are you busy? Oh, it's uh, all popping Christmas? along. Christmas, yeah. Christmas is here yep. and um, gosh, it, it just pops up so quickly, doesn't mm. it? I mean, I can't believe. Yeah. You know, this is my 37th Christmas. We're getting geared up now for Christmas. A lot of Christmas yeah. parties happening. Christmas Day is going to be a big one, which oh, is fantastic. So. Great. Tony, before we continue with these two beautiful wines, 333 Parnell Road for Antoine's. It is. It's www.antoinesrestaurant.co.nz. So simple. And it of is course, simple. And telephone number, Tony. It's 09 So you, simple. You even know the yeah, number. I, How about I that? know it off by heart. Just rolling off your tongue. Okay, Tony, uh, enough of the formalities. Indeed. Let the games begin. These two beautiful wines, South Island wines. Yes, we have one from Marlborough mm. and one from Central Otago. So the Marlborough is the Pinot Gris, and then we have the Prophet's Rock from Central Otago, which is a Pinot Noir. Well, I think we'll go with the Gibson Bridge, uh, Bridge first, and this is okay. actually a reserve, and it's a Pinot Gris, and it's 2007. Yeah. So we'll just wow. rip the Stelvin off. Yep. I will set a little glass down here for you. Yep. And pour moi. Now, this wine, it's located in Renwick in Marlborough. The vineyard's on the bank of the fast flowing alpine fed Gibson Creek. Well, that would explain the bridge part. Uh a Gibson Bridge. It is a nice bridge, isn't it? It almost looks like Party Central, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's unbelievable. It's a yeah. very, very smart bridge. And a nice little place to actually sample the wines. And they have a, uh, the cellar door. The cellar Apparently, door. it's a pretty amazing one down yeah. there. I think they win sort of the popularity stakes of the cellar door down in. Oh, Marlborough. okay. It's quite amazing. So they even have competitions with cellar well, I think doors. That's now. all internal, yeah. but oh, I think okay. you know. We're winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's a family-owned vineyard. Yes, once again, and keeping up it's our tradition. It's amazing, isn't yes, it? How isn't many it? families yeah. uh, there are involved yeah. in these things? And it's Howard and Julie Simmons. Now, they're the proud owners of this, and they should be very proud. I've had this wine now on my list for quite some time, and I have aged it. So this is yeah. 2007. They've had eight, and they've had 09. And, yeah. you know, between them, of these wines, they've had over 20 awards in two years. 20, 20 awards? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? So I actually oh. picked this one mm. out of a blind tasting once and I thought, this is me because it's just got the sort of taste that I like in a Pinot Gris. So I think we should try this. Yes. What are we looking for, Tone? Well, we're actually looking for, this is, it was very ripe fruit oh. and it was all hand harvested, gently crushed and pressed. Wine. Okay, well, what a, what a, what a bouquet. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is absolutely, it's sort of, oh. I mean, I sort of get apricots, mm. um, Pear, quince, yeah. that sort of thing. Let's let's just try it. Let's just try it. See, what I like about this wine, it's got the dryness. Beautiful. It's got the dryness. It's not too upfront, even though it's got very very good fruit. It's really the epitome of a Pinot Gris because yeah. there's a lot of them are too sweet. You know. I've been actually drinking it even with meat, and I'm mm. thinking white veal here. And it just oh, seems to, you know, yes. with a nice light or even a chicken, but white veal it goes very, very well with. And I also have been pairing it with tuna and scallop tartare, so that's raw, but the sweetness of the scallops and the beautiful tuna, and this just cuts through it and it actually marries into it beautifully, but it's, it's just got, it's got that huge persistent finish you know it's oh. got you know, it loiters doesn't it gosh yes. Howard and Julie you've done a magnificent job you, you should both vi be very proud of yourself and I'm very proud to have this on my wine yes so it's not right. a case of making it onto the Antoine's wine list it's already, it's already there. there it is already there Renwick in, in, Melbourne. in Melbourne if you're near there drop in and see Julie and Howard and uh, because Julie looks after the cellar door and she's and very proud of her yeah. cellar door, and she does a very, very good job. So and 
Ask be for very this, impressed with that. Ask for this wine. It's absolutely beautiful. And there is the 08 and 09, of course. So, yeah. um, but yeah. she might just have some of those 07 <laughs> hiding, lurking behind the door. Wine number two. The number two. We're and number two is, where are we going? Central Otago. Central Otago. Now, I know you love the reds. Yes, I'm I do. I'm going to pour this and just, well, to, get little, the last just to get a little beautiful. bit of air into it to start yep. with. It's got a nice look about it, Tony. First of all, the name, Prophet's Rock. Prophet's what a rock. great name, isn't it? And did you see that rock? It's yeah. named after the, this beautiful rock. Yeah. That, and it is, I mean, it is, it's an amazing oh, rock. Oh, it rock. is, isn't it? So there it is. sort of sitting moon dance <laughs> stuff, isn't it? I mean, it's an amazing rock. Sitting out there in yeah. the middle of the landscape. So it, that, yeah. that rock is called yeah. Prophet's and Rock. And it's a beautiful vineyard too, mm. isn't it? The icon, the icons on here mean vision, mm. wisdom, and passion. Now, when you taste this wine, you're going to get that these people have foresight. They're absolutely mm. passionate about what they do. But this little icon on here, is what it, that's what it means. Yeah. It's vision, wisdom, and passion. Now, they have amalgamated all of these three into this wine. Oh, that's... Did I mean, it's shooting, isn't it? It's oh, shooting straight wonderful. out of the glass. Mm. You know, it's got... I can, I can tell you, this is going to be beautiful. Wonderful. It's got tannins. Now, yes, it's firm yes, tannins, and yes, that's really, yeah. when you've got that tannin, you know mm. it's going to keep going. Now, that will give it. This way, the tannins, Beautiful. but they're, they're very good tannins. I mean, mm. it's, they're very firm, ripe tannins. You t taste the ripeness of this. Bob Campbell gave this four out of five. This is beautiful. You know, you get different styles. Now, this is actually more fruity. You know, you get the, Mar you know, you mm. get the Martinborough ones, which are to totally different styles of this, but this is Central Otago and it's all that sunshine I think and it's actually the beautiful Tawa mm. and it's just you can just the denseness you know it's got sort of floral violets yeah. you know all that sort of now is this a family vineyard to Tony? the owner of this vineyard is Mike Mulvey oh, okay in fact his daughter got married on Friday so um, well, he'd be a happy man. He'd be a he? very happy man. One off, one off, <laughs> gone. You know, and I'm sure they're drinking some very, or they drank some very, very good wine. The winemaker is Paul Pujol. Pujol. P U J O L. Now he's a New Zealand-born, mm. but his father was French. Oh, okay. So it's in the blood. Now he's very, he's a very clever winemaker. He has been to a couple of other vineyards, but this one is what he's making, and this is his best. I mean, it's unbelievably good. Right. I mean, it's spent 16 months in French oak barriques, and it's under premium quality cork. See, yep. a cork, you know I love oh, corks. Oh, yes. It's under a cork, and it's premium quality. I just love these corks. Yeah. I mean, corks are my Well, passion. Tony, you grew up with corks, didn't you? Yeah, Your yeah, whole life I think a lot of people like to put a cork in it as well. I mean, that's <laughs> fine. But, but it's just beautifully, beautifully integrated. Well, I think let's have one more wonderful taste. See, this is that. Now, I opened this one oh. hour ago. Yes. And the air has got into mm. it and it's breathing. And it's just so, it's just perfect. I had this beautiful piece of wild venison. We're talking wild yeah. venison hung up in the trees. Till, you know, I had to take, this, take the <laughs> slime off it and get into the middle of it. And I put a little bit of chocolate with it. Now, yeah. chocolate and red wine actually go very well. And yeah. this also mm. goes very well with a chocolate souffle. So chocolate souffles and red wine are perfect. Mm. This, especially a pinot, mm. goes beautifully with it. So chocolate and venison it's a bit of a mole sort of thing you know yeah. but the venison and the chocolate are beautiful together and this just gives it a good kick you know well here's to mike who uh, mike mulvey mm -hmm. uh, congratulations first for a wonderful wine and then too for his daughter being married last uh, it's friday amazing, yeah. i'm glad to see people still getting yeah. married <laughs> I mean, it's a good incentive if you get this wine isn't it yeah so let's drink to mike and his daughter they have a wonderful wedding and a wonderful wine. Fantastic. And also to announce, uh, Tony, that uh, two weeks ago we had a competition and the answer was the spy and the emails just flooded in, Tony. They did. They I couldn't believe how many. Yeah. This is good. So we did the draw. We did the draw and out came a Dunedin name. Dunedin. So I hope they can come up to the restaurant for Christmas Fantastic. time. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be wonderful. And the name of the person was Laurie Dolan who lived at, uh, I think it's Fairfield, it's in the Fairfield suburb called... Fairfield, Dunedin. Yeah, yeah, so Laurie, get hold of Tony. He has Book to. yourself in for a wonderful, lovely night for two. He doesn't at, get uh, hold of me, he doesn't get the booking. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it again, Tony. We are. Every two weeks we ask that same yeah. question. 
So what will we do this time? I know. Right. Why don't we... What are the two wines that we are trying today? Yeah, test... The, the name of the wines we are tasting. Yeah. Both of them. Um, both beautiful wines. And uh, we'll see everybody in two weeks' time. Tony? And it just pops around, doesn't it? Oh. Unbelievable. Next minute, we're cracking another bottle. It just so it seems to go yeah, safe. Yeah, and you can hardly wait. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, See you in two weeks. Take care. Bye.